It's the first time for the Enugu SME Hackathon event, organized by the state government to harness and support tech and non-tech ideas, innovation, products and services capable of solving societal problems. It's also a day to decide who amongst the 10 finalists from the 300 applicants will go home with a grand prize of $5,000 to develop their business. From the renewable energy team to the teen coding team and others who showed extraordinary talent in their area of expertise, one after the other, they pitched their ideas. We invented a revolutionizing energy kit that converts cassava waste water to electricity to serve the underserved energy market, also known as the public areas in Nigeria. At Team Coding Hub, students learn the basic skills of programming, like HTML5, CSS3, and Python programming for website design, software, and app development. And we also help connect them to available jobs upon completion of their courses. In no time, the results trickle in, crowning the Creation Energy team, which says it intends to convert cassava waste to electricity. Well, I actually feel happy. It's you know we put in a lot of work, and I'm glad that it paid off. You know, and this is one of what we say and what we you know have as our core value: capitalism, trying to solve problems and all that. The organizer and special advisor to the uh, governor on SME and investment promotion says plans are in place to host the event quarterly. It's important that we find ways to support them, you know, outside of we got their loans, grants, incubation supports. Um, we, we must find ways to take them from where they are to the next level. And this is what we are trying to do with this initiative. Um, this is the first series. By God's grace, we'll be making this a quarterly series. So every quarter, we'll have the Enugu SME Hackathon. Now it's going to be focused on a particular sector. There are also plans to encourage the nine other finalists. I'm going to, um, I, I just asked my technical advisor to take all the names and contacts. We're going to invite them to a roundtable meeting. We're going to discuss with them, find out what their problems are, find a way of encouraging them, a way of uh, where the government can tap into their talents and then see how they can empower the use of Enugu State. Small and medium enterprise development is key to catalyzing sustainable economic development, a reason why the state government says it's using it to create jobs and grow the sector.